Have I gotten any offers from the Arabian Peninsula? No. And I'm not getting any offers from Palermo either. They have rejected my application. Ugh. No free pot. No free pasta. No free pasta for all Zealand. I'm going to delay. So we're delaying on June 27th. So this is my first delay. This is the Knock Breda offer. They do have a larger payroll budget uh, than, than we have right now. All right. I did not get the offer for a ham, y'all. And I did not get the offer for Eintra Eintracht Frankfurt. We've been rejected, but Vasco da Gama said yes. That means we have Nach Breda, who have already made an offer to us. And we have Vasco da Gama. Oh, wow. FCSB, we did the interview and they were like, actually, we're not interested. So the big club in, uh, in Romania said no. We got rejected. I'm going to apply to Paranensha just in case Vasco says no is what I'm going to do. Vasco's got more money and less expectation. That sounds perfect. <laughs> Not unsettled by an offer from St. Etienne. That's wild. This guy has less reputation than me, and you're appointing him as the head coach. Vasco da Gama. Okay. You're not even a real team. All right, Knock Breda, you are the only team that's actually offered me a contract, and I would like to delay it again to see if I can get another, see if I can get the interview with Atletico Paranense. And we will make them regret what they have done to us. I am not going to, you know, I but not my preferred situation going to Tigre, but that might be where we, you know, Oh, Randers just, <laughs> the interview process is over. Screw you, dude. I'm not good enough for the Brazilian top league, dude. I thought I was. I'm just not. I am not good enough for the Brazilian top league. We've been rejected by Atletico Paranense. We are Did they say it was 300 million? Was that what somebody uh is Oh, oh, holy smokes. Breda. Knock Breda would be starting the season. We'd have a chance to build the team. Can I, uh, can you, I, yeah, can, can, uh, I, I just send the offer again, dude. We'll never, we'll never, we'll never be in a situation like the Orlando Pirates again. We're headed to Knock Breda, who just got relegated from the era de Vizy to try and get them back. We've done what we can. We've won everything we could with the Orlando Pirates. We're going to miss them. We're taking the job with Nock Breda. Oh, dude, the end of the World Cup. Wait, what day is it? Why do I take the job in 15 days? I want to take it now. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Why? Why? Ugh. I can't change it now. I don't even think resigning from Ghana would do it. Because we've already like promised, yeah, use the editor. I don't even think the editor would work on that. Not and not to mention it's not something I'd want to use the editor on. But we would want to take over the team now. No, we can't delay again. We've already delayed twice. It's only 15 days. Yeah, but it's 15 days where I'll just be screwing Orlando Pirates. I've already been screwing them for a while. Guys, this is I don't care. Look. Look, chat. Some people are like, I don't know if I like this job. This is a team that just got relegated from the era de Vizzi. We, it was not our first choice. We didn't get any other job offers, chap. And I think it's, a, a, I, I like it because we can, they have a huge wage budget relative to the second division of the Netherlands. We should be able to just bounce right back up. All right, we're taking it. Does that mean we will leave our job with Orlando Pirates immediately? That would make sense. And then we just have the Ghana job and then take over at Knock Breda on the 26th and we get a vacation. Now. I hope we leave. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm going to resign. Not retire. I'm just going to resign immediately from Orlando Pirates. Nine trophies in two years, chat. Nine trophies in two years. And my first ever African Champions League. 
but it's time for us to take a take a step in a different direction because our goal in our career is not to just dominate the South African League forever. We want to rise to the top of the game. And to do that, we have to leave her, Johnny. Leave her, Johnny, leave her. Oh, I missed the resign button. How did I miss? I thought I clicked it. There it is. We're leaving. Leave her, Johnny, leave her. Oh, yeah, yeah, it does say I left at the end of my contract. I am an icon. I am an icon. So we'll stay at Ghana until the uh, 26th. And then, you know, because we'll be able to watch the World Cup, then we'll resign Ghana and we take over at Nock Breda. And the World Cup final, it, no way. There is no way that the only match they played that didn't go to extra time was the final. There is no way. 1-0 over Cameroon, pens against the U.S., pens against Mexico, extra time against Uruguay, and then they beat France 3-1 in the final, Raspadori and Berardi. The Italians are inevitable. Hey, hey man, they handled their, uh, they handled their group. They beat Argentina in that wild 4-3 game. They beat Egypt. They beat Saudi Arabia 1-0 on an 88th minute goal. They were not convincing at all the whole tournament, but they are a classic example of survive and advance. All right, Nock, Brando, what do you got for me? It's a pleasure that I welcome you to Nock. Ahead of discussions regarding the club's vision and objectives, we have prepared a welcome pack to help you settle into your new home. This is a momentous day and truly a sign of great things to come. It is. It's a solid kit, I agree. Founded in 1912. Our rivals are Willem. Willem. <laughs> as a club which enjoyed its best spell during the 70s, their last competition win came as recently as 2025. Now are a club with a growing history. They won the Dutch top division for the only time in 1921, and it finished runners-up four times. They won the KNVB Becker in 1973 and won the Dutch second tier in 2000 and 2025. Oh, they're yo-yoing right now. They're yo-yoing, and they just got relegated again after going up. Uh, transfer obligations. Uh, Benjamin Jimenez joins on a free transfer. Oh, he sucks. Well, we're going to have to figure out very quickly, chat, um, what's going on. So Clint Lehmans is being sold to the Arawa Red Diamonds. Sounds like that's necessary. What's the financial position? It's okay. It's already okay. What have we, what have we done to rectify that? <sighs> All right, roll up your sleeves, chat. We're about to get in the weeds. Eros Ignatovich doesn't like big matches. Played... Six matches for us in the Era de Vizy. Victor Wernerson also despises big matches. So our transfer budget is under 62000 Our committed spend is fairly high. Who's got the biggest wage? I guess there's clearly a max contract that these guys have. Anthony Apoku. Yeah, I don't know if this is uh, the dude. Definitely want to sell him. We're going to offer him out for unspecified amount. Facundo Castro also uh, transfer listed the 30-year-old. Let's offer him out, see what kind of offers we get back. Georgia Pava is sur – okay. This squad is a mess. This squad is an absolute mess. We have 40,000 transfers that are currently about to go through. Uh, if the Clint Lehman's transfer goes through, we're probably financially very healthy. Uh, the thing I love about Clint Lehman's, though, is that he's actually not on a big contract. So the, the sale is a little annoying, but $3.6 is $3.6 million. That's the installments that'll bring it up to $3.6 million. But the $2.8 million, how much go in the budget? 60% up to $31 million. So we will get some transfer budget with the Lehman sale, which I would love to have that just to work with. That won't be all of it. It'll be 60% of it. 
So we'll end up with like 1.5 million, but our balance will be healthy. Uh, let's look at our transfer history. We've probably already made some sales. Yes, Dominic Janoszek was sold to Fortuna Sittard for 3.2, and Martin Koshelnik was sold for 2.2 to uh, raise funds. We're selling to buy. And we signed Nicholas Souter as a goalkeeper for some reason. Amari Bell. Oh, God. I guess that's my left back. 32-year-old Jamaican Amari Bell and Davey Bregu as a left wing. Oh, uh, why'd you sign this guy, dude? Why did you sign Davey Bregu before I... Ah, oh, this is right before I got here, too. We're stuck with these jabronis. Yeah, they already made that money. That's why selling Clint Lehmans would actually give us transfer budget to work with, which is what I want. I want a little transfer budget to work with now that we are healthy. Uh, oh, they made an offer for Soe uh, Kazuko. Interesting. Uh, Tony Villa. Okay, they, they have an offer for Conrad Mikalik. I have no idea whether he's good or not. This is a very, very difficult position to be in. All right, what I am going to do is go resign my Ghana post. Knocker in the second division, they were just relegated, hence why we were able to get the job. I am going to resign my post as the Ghana head coach. Lehman's wants to leave. Boy Kemper wants to leave. Okay, what? Well, okay, okay. First thing, first thing, rules. What are the rules? Time to go. Time to go off. Uh, max of six. Oh, that's loan rules. Allowed on loan at a time. There's no rules. There are, there are no rules. Transfer window, June to September 1st. There's literally no rules. Wants to leave due to the club getting relegated. Cool. I don't want anybody here that doesn't want to be here. I I do not want anybody here that doesn't want to be here. Uh, he's very interested in leaving. Well, then let's go ahead and offer him out. Uh, we, especially if we're able to get some serious resources in, should be able to, uh, to make this happen. Uh, there are no rules in the Netherlands, and so we should be able to make this happen fast. Wants to start more games? Well, I got great news. The other dude wants to leave, so. You're up, Jonas. Okay, last thing we have to do, go to our squad. Get a feel for who's good, who's not. What's the, you know, what's the 411? Victor Wernerson. He's okay being here. Yeah, but he, we already looked at him. He hates big matches. Joe Abrigo. All right, 31 year old from Chile. Got some game. Doesn't have a ton of game, but has some game. Boy Kemper wants to leave, uh, so which we're working on. So Owen Gene. I don't like him. I, 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 yeah, I don't really like him at all. Owen Bezo. Loves to punch the ball, but there's nothing wrong with him. We got a good keeper. Or Marco Bezo Owen. Uh, Salvareski. Oh, center back. Low determination on a center back. Never great. Dejvi Bregu. Oh, that's the winger they just signed that I hate, but we're stuck with him. Nicholas Souter. They signed our backup goalkeeper. Zico Burmeester. Okay, and he doesn't want to leave. He wants to stay, and he's not under a big contract. I'm happy with that. Everett Lindhorst. It's a better ball winner than the other guy. Roy Kortsmith. Oh, why don't we sign that other goalkeeper? Seems like a waste of money. Uh, Toby Sibic, Ugandan center back, Toby Sibic. Good competitive player. Uh, Amari Bell. Oh, that's the left back from Jamaica they just signed. Ryan Vassen. Man, we need a star forward, dude. We do not have, like, a good star forward. This a pressing forward type guy. Brian Rivera. He's not bad. He is competent. Uh, Carlos Paternina. Also interested in moving on from Carlos Paternina. I'd be very interested in speaking to other clubs. He is listed, so that's good. Georgie Papava is bad. So, yeah, let's uh, let's move on from him in any way that we can. Please. All right. And then affiliates, the last thing. Only Excelsior. Uh, let's look for a senior affiliate. I haven't been with us very long. Yeah, but it doesn't mean I didn't have a good idea. We're broke. 
let's let's sign people for less money. Oh my God, Clint! Clint, 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 Clint. Clint Lehman's just rejected his two point his like three point two million dollar move. So we have a lot of building to do. There's gonna be a lot of moving parts. We are gonna end up with a ton of wage room. But we have a lot of building to do to make this team competitive. This is essentially what we have as a team. We will try to make the most of this. Uh, it's not getting paid much. He's fine. Liam Crumintrin. Why? Honestly, me playing in the Netherlands is just going to be a nightmare for anybody that is able to actually speak Dutch. It's going to be a waking nightmare. But this this guy fully deserves to be in the senior team. Leon Crumintrin. The 18-year-old. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I'm liking some of the sauce here. Bert Van Dalen. We've got a 17-year-old in the U18s who's got that five-star potential. And then Ishan Bagos. I'm getting strong Lella Mella Bad Boy vibes from Ishan Bagos. He's a pace merchant with determination and a, just a brilliant mindset. Now, all of a sudden, the interest in Clint Lehman's has dried up, and the fact that we were originally going to get $3 million for him isn't great. This is awesome. Joe Abrigo is moving to Girona for $2 million, and that gives us a war chest and frees up some wage budget, and he wanted to leave after we got relegated, so now he's leaving. The board already thought you already relinquished control of player sales, but apparently they're just going to continue to relinquish control of player sales. Georgie Papava is leaving, and the wage continues to open up. See you later, Georgie. Olivier Acham is here. <laughs> Olivier Acham is here, and he is good. He is here. He's worth serious money. He's got creativity. He can open up a defense. He's a fantastic player relative to the rest of our team, and we are very happy he's here. This is, all right, cross your fingers and toes because we're pretty sure this guy is really good for this league, but we are not entirely sure. And so we have basically just sent a giant contract at Abdul Rahman Garib. Let's see. Let, 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 uh, let's see. Yeah. You know, let's see. Let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens. Be good. Okay, he looks, We, you know, if he was three stars, I would have been immediately bothered, but he's three and a half, so that's good. Let's welcome him to the club. Uh, let's get him, tra we'll get him training in a position in a second. Okay, he's good. He's good. His technique hit very low, but his athleticism hit very high. It's good ball carrying, good crossing, generally dangerous player. He's good. He's a good player. 27-year-old center back, Boy Kemper for $3.3 I I'm uh, sorry you made it clear that, you know, it was uh, it's time to move. So, no. What's the injury? Really? Bart Van Dalen broke his ribs the day before them. Are you serious with me right now? I don't have a bench. Sweet. We just got him right before the match. Matias DeWolf is in. Oh, we're going to like a Carl Arrow. I don't really find him to be a playmaker, but he can do it. So I'll work him as a center mid. No, center mid on support. Just work his overall game. That's fine. Do we have 15 subs for league matches? Are you kidding me? <sighs> okay, this is the worst our team is ever going to be. So if we do well now, then we're going to do well later. We're the favorites. Now let's stick to the plan. I have faith in you. You guys don't believe me yet, but we are going to be great. But we are going to be great. <sighs> FC Eindhoven against Nach. Our first match leading a club in Europe with a team just relegated from the era de Vizy trying to battle our way back up. 38 match season in the Dutch second division. An opportunity where Nock was willing to invest. We sold valuable players. We built up a, a comfortable financial situation. And now we've put together a team to do the job. Um, Garib. Garib. Olivier was there. Bell. Bell. Goal! 
Fortunately, it looks like we're playing a team that's projected bottom half of the league right now. Bad keeping. Takes a bit of a deflection, but Bell hits the ball well enough. The Jamaican left back, whose job is in danger. Rivera to Burmeester. Burmeester. Frignatovic to Garib. Garib! And knock this away. Good Burmeester. No shot. Literally no shot. Bezot's letting that go. That's what I'm doing for New Year's Eve. It's going to be nice. Oh, my God! He was worth the money now. Abdul Rahman Garib, welcome to the Netherlands. What a goal by Abdul Rahman Garib. In his debut, Brondiel is nowhere near it. I just put in the wrong battery. That goal was so good. Oh, Garib just gave the ball away, but it's hard to stay mad at him with a goal like that. Choi, good tackle from Bell. We're fine. Oh. Rivera. Oh, Paternina. It's the first time I've seen my striker actually touch the ball. He's not very good, Paternina. Bless him. He does his best. Forget about me. Hey. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, guys. It's been a very laid back game, honestly. Just hasn't been a lot to it. And Lindhorst is a little slow, and then some pretty appalling marking here. I'm going to put that on Ignatovich because I hate him, and I'm really excited that he's not going to be on my team by next week. Thank goodness. Thank goodness he made that save, man. We've got numbers in there to be able to defend this. What an unbelievably terrible foul. What an awful foul that was. <laughs> this is bro, so many changes don't work. Are you are you Twitter right now, dude? Sometimes that just happens. I mean, obviously we'll look at that and, and try and figure out how we could uh you know how we could have done that better. But you know, maybe maybe not get stuck in in that particular situation. It's a brutal 2-2 draw. I have sympathize uh, with you guys. That was tough. That was a tough game. How long is Wolf out? It's three to four weeks. The hamstring. Well, that sucks. Hi, I'm Zealand. That's it for the edited down version of the stream. If you want to check out the full stream, you can head to the Zealand Streams channel, which is a repository for every live stream I've ever done in full. And you can also check out the Zealand YouTube channel, which if you haven't seen that yet, then how did you end up here? It's good to see you though. Hope you enjoyed. Hope I won, scored some goals or whatever I was playing today. It's good stuff.